so especially with youth, once you've kind of established like, hey, I'm interested in you, hey, I'm curious what you have to say or what things you like, and just kind of be willing to observe them and listen, I think that makes a bigger impact on being able to talk to them and work with them. Hi, I'm Carol and I'm from Bluffdale, Utah. I'm a homemaker and a mom and I've worked as a leader with youth groups for the last 15 years. I always think about um, the old Peanuts cartoons when the kids are going to school and you hear the teacher and it's just this like totally like gobbledygook sound that they don't even listen to or pay attention to and I think a lot of times that's how they view an adult talking to them. I actually did have one experience where I had to speak to a youth group and I had to speak speak three different times. I felt like by kind of watching their response and changing what I was giving them based on what they were showing me helped them to get out of it what they needed. So it made it more of a successful interaction with each group. It probably isn't a bad idea to get something maybe a little bit early and just kind of be listening and just kind of watching the tone and and even just watching people. I think there's a lot that you can figure out just by almost kind of reading your audience by what they're talking about and just being observant, paying attention to culture and what's happening around you so that you're almost more prepared when you step into that setting. And so especially with youth, I think that helps really coming from an adult to show that, hey, I care enough about you, that I'm actually paying attention to what you're interested in or I'm trying to learn from you and then now let me teach you something. And I think they're so much more willing to listen.